Back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You are inside the Stitchery and I'm so happy you're here today. So today we are doing a product test because Craft Easy Tools Company sent me their Safety Eye gizmo and as an amigurumi artist and designer uh, I guess they figured I would be good to test it out. So lots of people have been sent these already but they sent me three and I just saw a thing about how they're not sending more than one to everybody. However, when I went to follow this company on Instagram, I found out they already followed me. So there's a pretty good chance they know what I make. I make things with tiny eyes, medium eyes, and large eyes. So they sent me all three. What does this gadget do? Supposedly makes putting in safety eyes a whole lot easier. But I'll be honest, I'm skeptical. So is it Spoonie approved? Let's find out. So here we go. This is what they look like. This is the, I'm so sorry for the crinkling. I'll take them out of the plastic in a second. This is the Craft Easy Tools. This is the large. These are all 3D printed because these are all prototypes. So the official one will be made out of another material. So, hmm. Okay. Has an interesting feel to it. Like, um, there is resistance, but that little sound on the end makes me think something's wrong. But I guess it's just how the spring is made. So in the um, final version, they want to have a bolt right here to make this part stronger. I think they switched out the spring as well, and um, they added a little cushion up here to help hold the little eye in place. So that'll be good. But this is, um, I'm not sure, one of the newer prototypes, I think. So they sent me the large one. is the medium one I assume there's no hey it sparkles <laughs> look this one sparkles oh it sparkles and it's green wicked <laughs> hmm let's see oh interesting okay look this one closes all the way this one doesn't and this one looks bigger than this one. But no. This hole is definitely smaller than that one. Okay. Hmm. And then this one is marked small. So, let's see. This one came with a whole bunch of prototype little plastic hairs on it. I'll show you that closer up, but. Oh. Ooh. Eh. This one is definitely rougher. The edges are not smoothed out. I think these two must be newer than this one because they have round, smooth handles, and this one does not. This one feels like it came straight out of the um, 3D printer with no sanding or anything. Hmm. But these feel much more sturdy 
and um, they're smoother so they don't hurt your hands, which is nice. I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure to use these, so I'm very curious about using them with eyes. Now, here's the thing. In my tutorials, I use the eyes with the brown backs, the little brown backs, because I'm trying to whip out tutorials and it's faster. If I'm giving a product away, or if I'm making a product that I want to last a really, really long time, I use the white backings and they are a lot harder to install. Therefore, I bought that little tool from Amazon. So my question is, will these work better than that thing? Because that thing is really, really well made. I'm not saying that these won't work. I'm just skeptical that they'll have enough force behind them to put on those white backings. But we shall see. That's why you're here, right? We're gonna test the product together. I have not used these. As you can see, I just took them out of the package with you. I have not touched these. All I did was open the box to see what was inside. Um, it does come with instructions, so that's good. And um, I know that it used to not come with instructions because my friend Ashley at Gwinspired is how I found out about this in the first place. She got the very first prototype and um, she tested it on her channel. I will link her video down below. You can go see what she thinks. But I don't think hers came with instructions or anything. And so they constantly want feedback from all of us testers. I'll be honest, I'm super skeptical. But if you know me, I'm very skeptical of most things. So, but we shall see. I am obviously keeping an open mind. I'm very happy they sent these to me. They didn't have to, but they did. And um, let's go to the table and let's test them out. So now we're down at the table. Let's take a look at all of these up close. I was told by the company that they now um, only make two sizes, the small and large. There really is no medium anymore, and that's fine. This one, I mean, there's lots of little printer hairs on it from the 3D printer, and I mean, there's some, there's some flaws there. It's very rough. It is very, very rough, almost like it came directly out of the printer with no sanding whatsoever. And this sound. Ugh. You No. Um. I don't know about this one. I'm skeptical about this one even working. So we'll see. This is like the medium size. And I have to say, this is probably one of the best made ones. It also has this really pretty like shimmer to it. <laughs> um, but... It has a problem, and I'm worried about this. Look. It doesn't go all the way down. Pretty sure these are supposed to meet, like this one does. See? But, um, we'll see. Maybe it'll work. So, this one sound isn't as bad. That's probably what it's going to sound like. You've got a spring, so it's going to make some kind of noise. Um, it has a few flaws here and there, like right here, but for the most part, it's great. It's very smooth. I mean, this part has like a texture to it. The little sparkles have kind of a texture, but that's kind of fun. Um, the handle is way more comfortable than the pink one. Way more. The edges are smooth. It's been sanded. It might have even been shellacked here. I can't tell. Spring looks stronger too. Looks, looks way, way stronger than that one. And that keeps happening with this. This is why I'm very skeptical of this one working at all. So I'm glad they sent me a few because, you know, you can compare them to each other. So this one doesn't go all the way down. So I'm worried that that won't work at all, but we'll see. And then last but not least, we have the large. So we know it's a large because of the big L. <laughs> and it goes all the way down. So that gives me hope. It's comfortable like this one. And um, sound isn't as bad either. That's not bad. And um, it does have a few rough spots like right here, but for the most part, it's pretty well made. 
very comfortable handle. I like it. Um, the, like I said, the, the new ones will have the little cushion here and the bolt. And it'll be made out of different material, too. Um, but let's take it down to the table where we're already here. And I've got a few projects that need eyes. So um, we're going to test all of these. So I have a few different eyes here. Um, this is my favorite company to get eyes from. I love these backings. Now, I'm very skeptical about the tool being able to be used on these backings, but, you know, we're gonna see. It'd be really great if, um, for my really large eyes, if I could use the tool, because I gotta tell you, because it's so short, it is kind of hard to do with your fingers. So it'd be really great um, if I can put on my really large eyes with the tool. So I'm hoping it works at least for large. But um, these have really long, you know, they have several rungs. They have, let's see, one, two, three, four rungs to them. Usually about two is pretty secure. So as long as I can get them over two, I'm pretty happy. I'll say that it's a success. I also have some of the brown backings here for the smaller eyes. And we'll see if those work in the tool as well. So we've got we've got different companies, different eyes here. We're going to see um, how these tools react to all of this. So this is a very, very thorough review, which is why it's taken me so long to get you this video. So hope you like it. Okay, so this is Alpha Bear, and she needs eyes, so got her 24 millimeter eyes right here and let's use one of these bad boys my guess is the large would probably be the most appropriate to give her some eyes let's see if this works so we've got the little brown backs and I'll use those because that's what this comes with Real quickly, I just need to plan my eyes. So hold on a second. So the eye is in place, and then here's the back, and then this part, which will have a cushion in the new design, and then this part. So like that. Okay, and push. It worked? Huh. That was great. I definitely could not have pushed down to the second ring on my own. So a tool was definitely needed. So that's cool. Let's try this eye. So again, we do it like this. And let's try it. Oh, wow. Hey, she has eyes. <laughs> okay, so brown backs and big eyes works just fine. Let's try another size. My cute little friend here needs some eyes. So let's get him the appropriate size and um, probably the medium tool, I think, would be good. So let's try this one. Okay, ultimate test. I am really curious about the little white backings. So let's see if it can handle it. I don't know. First of all, I gotta put these in the right spot. <laughs> Okay, so our little friend has eyes and try to turn it so you guys can see. Here is the white backing. And again, this side is where the eye goes. This side is where the backing goes. I don't know about this. Let's see. 
Oh, oh, oh. Well, I got one rung, but I'm pretty sure I can do the second one on my own. Yep. So the tool couldn't do two, but I can do two with my fingers. But it got me past the first one. So let's try it again. Okay. Oh. Was that two? Oh, it worked! Look! Two rungs. Okay, so it does work on the white backs, but it is a lot of work. I gotta say, when I was using this one on the brown backings, it was on it went on really easily, but when I'm using the white backings, it was extra work. But it does work, so I mean yes, it is a success. Alright, now let's try this one. I'm very skeptical about this one. Because as you can see, this one is not made as well as the others. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, oh, that sound. Okay. So this little thing needs a face. So I have brown backings and white backings for this eye. And we're going to see if it'll work on both. Oh yeah, I definitely think the eight millimeters better. Okay. So... Okay, so this eye is an eight millimeter and we are going to try with this backing right here. Or no, let's try the white backing first. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of slightly push it to start it because it's so far in there. I don't think this will be able to grip it by itself. So I gave it a head start and now can this thing do the rest? I don't know. No. That's a no. I bet I can get it on with my fingers. Yep. It's a lot of pressure to push it on by with by yourself but it can be done with your fingers so now this other one let's try the brown backing okay <laughs> isn't it cute okay here is the brown backing and again i just got it started because it's so far in there all right, let's try it. Really? Come on. <laughs> it is not working. Um, I'm gonna try the green one. This pink one, so far nothing works. But this green one looks better made, so I'm gonna try this one. I don't know, maybe the hole's too big. Oh, let's see. Literally nothing is happening. And that is because of this. Okay, look. It doesn't go down all the way. Unlike the blue one. I think that's a problem. <laughs> um, well, let's try it with the big one, but I think the hole's too big. But I'll try it. Uh, yeah, the hole's too the hole's too big. See? It's not gonna work. So I'm gonna get another white one. 
and try it with this one right here. Okay. Yep, it worked. Okay, so. They have improved on the design. This one obviously still needs work because it doesn't close all the way, that's a problem. It worked with the bigger eyes because they're thicker. That's the only reason it worked. Um, this this one is terrible. I'm I'm so glad they improved on this because this this one doesn't work at all. It didn't even work with the little brown backing, and that's like the easiest thing to get on, even with your fingers. So, yeah. Um, favorite one is definitely the large. That one was great. Uh, second favorite would be this one, and then third, dead last, would be the pink. So, but my eyes are on. They're over two rungs, so that's pretty secure. Here we go. And my little creature, you'll just have to wait and see what it is. <laughs> so I spoke to Mike at Craft Easy Tools and uh, we had a conversation about how I didn't have the most recent version so I didn't understand how my video would be relevant. So he sent me the most recent prototype. Let's see how it's different, sorry for the crinkling. There's the bolt I was talking about. Oh, it's quieter. Listen to that. Okay, and there's that little pad. Feels great. And it's peach like my sweater. <laughs> this is the small, but this is supposed to do like even larger eyes and stuff. You can see though how it's a prototype. See, right there. But that's okay, as long as it works, you know? So let's try it. Here are my backings. They are white backings, but we'll see. Okay. I always like to get it started. So the little padded piece is supposed to go against the eye and then the hole is supposed to go over. Hmm. I don't want to break the tool. <laughs> so it won't be made out of this stuff. It'll be made out of a, a, very, a much stronger material, which we'll talk about in a moment. <sighs> yeah. Okay, well, these other backs might work. I don't know if they're too big or not. Let's try the other eye. Might need to get it started. There we go. Okay. I got it over one. Yeah. That was a good sound. There we go. Okay. All the rungs. It went over all of them. Alright, so let's do the brown backing for this one. White backing just isn't going to work, guys. I'm really sorry. But maybe when they make it out of that stronger material, it will. Maybe, let's, let's hope. So the brown backing, there you go. There, great, okay. And that was a 10 millimeter eye. Maybe it'll work on the tiny white backs, let's find out. This is my tot, by the way. <laughs> Tutorials on my channel. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, like that, okay. Got these little ones. I'm gonna try again. If not, I do have brown backs, but let's try. Oh! Oh, it worked! Did you hear that? Hopefully you saw that. I don't know if I was in frame. Well, I'll make sure I'm in frame this time. Okay. 
This is a white backing, y'all. <gasps> Oops, it was at an angle. Hold on, I gotta straighten it out. That was, that was my fault, that was technique. I should have straightened it first. No, it's holding. All right, we'll just go with that. Look, these are white backings, but they're small and it worked. <gasps> Yay! Awesome, okay. So this is definitely an improvement over these, my thoughts. This is a vast improvement over this, this, or this. Um, I still like my large one. I do. This, <laughs> this, this one doesn't work. It just doesn't. It didn't even do the brown pieces. So yeah, it, I'm glad they improved it. So this was like the first version and then I think it was this, and then this, and now this. And I like how thick this is. I like how quiet this is. This little pad is very handy to hold your little safety eyes in place. I don't mind that mine is unfinished. It was given to me after all. <laughs> and um, the bolt is a genius idea. I like this one a lot more. I can't wait to see the final version. I might buy one because I'm super curious and it does work. I mean, even the prototype guys, it does work. So here's my little, my little guys that I made right now. And then of course you saw this one. So this worked out beautifully. And there we go. Okay, so what are all my final thoughts on this tool? This version gives me hope. I really like this version. This is the most um, recent prototype that he sent me, but which again, thank you, Mike. And it has the bolt in it. The final version will be made of something called glass filled ABS. So I'm not 100% sure what that is. I will look that up and make a slide for that. Okay, so that's what that was. <laughs> and um, it's supposed to be a very strong material. So the Kickstarter for this starts April 18th. I know, I'm sorry. I tried to get this video out earlier, but massive technical issues on my end. And then he wanted to send me a prototype to compare and contrast to the other prototypes. So thank you, Mike. The information will be linked down below. I will link Mike's Instagram and all of that kind of stuff. If you wanna contact him and ask questions, I strongly recommend it. I wanna try the final version. I really do. I like this version. This version has a lot of hope attached with it. And I think that it will do really, really well. I do think that it would help a lot of people with arthritis and nerve conditions, which I have. So I do think that it will be a very helpful tool if it's strong enough. So the glass filled ABS is supposed to be very strong. This bolt is definitely an improvement over the little plastic piece in the middle on the other ones. It did work. It did work, even the prototype worked. So I'm gonna say Spoonie approved. So Spoonies, I think this tool will help you. Maybe let's give it a try, guys. So information is linked down below. If you don't wanna try the Kickstarter version, which is like basically putting your name on a waiting list that you're kind of reserving a tool for yourself, um, and that will open up on April 18th, then you could always wait and see how those people do and watch videos on those tests and 
see how it goes. So you never have to buy the first version if you don't want to, but I think in this case, you might be pleasantly surprised. So I wanna say a big thank you to Mike and Craft Easy Tools for sending me all these prototypes. <laughs> They were all very different and um, all did different things or nothing at all. And um, obviously you can see that there was a huge improvement. So thank you so much for sending me these. This was really fun to test for you guys. And I hope that I gave you enough information. I hope that everybody um, thought that this was a thorough review. That's what I was going for. That's why it took so long to make this video is because I was trying to be extra thorough. I wanted to try everything I could do. I wanted to test these really well. I wanted to get the information for you guys. I wanted to make sure that the Kickstarter information was correct. All of that. So thanks again to Craft Easy Tools. And um, I can't wait to see what else you guys invent. Thank you so much to all of you for watching. Thank you for being here and for supporting my little channel. I love you guys so much. If you'd like to, maybe like, share, subscribe, and join our fun Yarn Zebra family. Join the Facebook group down below. It is a private Facebook group. You only have to answer two questions. They are super easy, but you have to answer them. You get sneak peeks, you get bonus patterns, you get to vote. It's really fun over there. I, I We have a great group. We have a really group. We're over a hundred people, which still blows my mind, but it is a great fun group over there and the link is down below. Leave a comment. I would love to know your thoughts on all of this and uh, go check out Craft Easy Tools. Thank you so much for being here today. Remember, life happens, yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye.